Hey everyone, it's Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to forward email from Gmail to another email. Let's say you've got multiple inboxes, maybe at work, a personal one, whatever it might be. You have to do that on desktop. You can't do it on an Android phone, so we're going to hop over to desktop here. Um, so let's get started. You hop on over. You say you're in one of your inboxes. This is my promotions inbox. You go up to settings, the gear, see all settings. And then there's all the tabs along the top. You scroll over to forwarding and pop slash IMAP. And you click the gray button that says add a forwarding address. Type in the new address. And there's going to be a couple of confirmation steps here. So once you click next, um, if you have two-step verification on, which you should, we recommend that. Um, it's going to ask you to verify on your mobile device. Um, so you just verify that on here go through the process, and then it'll ask you to confirm that email address. Make sure you're not forwarding it to the wrong person. Some stranger gets all of your email. Um, so you, you go over to that other inbox, you click confirm. Um, once you've done that, then you can click OK on here and proceed. And stick around in this video because I'm going to give you some bonus tips on forwarding at the end using keyboard shortcuts too. Um, so in the meantime, we've gone over, we've confirmed on there, we click OK. Uh, and then you click refresh the screen. So make sure you refresh. If you don't refresh, you're not going to see all the options pop up. So right here, you can disable forwarding or you can turn it on. When you turn it on, um, it's going to ask you if you want to forward, um, keep, a, keep a message on in your inbox, archive it, delete it, you know, mark it as read. So you have a four options there that come up in the menu. Um, and then you got to make sure that you save the changes once you've enabled that. So scroll down to the bottom and click Save. Um, that's important. You could go through all the steps, close it, you don't save, you're like, great, now I gotta do it again. Um, so I've disabled forwarding here as an example, so you can turn it off, turn it on, whenever you'd like. Another way you can do forwarding is by creating a filter. Um, so this is a nice way if there are just certain emails that you wanna forward, like let's say crypto.com. I wanna get everything from crypto.com over to my junk email, or maybe it's important to me. So I type that in, you create a filter, which we shared in another video, and then you go down to forwarding, check that box, and then you confirm the email address that you put in to forward it to. So you, may, you gotta make sure you do that first. Um, and then create the filter. So click that button. They need to verify. Sometimes they wanna double verify it's used so you're not creating a filter. It's going to the wrong person, like I said. Um, so I'm doing that on my phone. I'm verifying all of that. Um, and I've created a filter. You can do it by a sender address. You can put in certain keywords, but be careful because those keywords might match up with multiple addresses. Now we're gonna look at how to forward individual emails, which is pretty easy. You just open up an email on your desktop and you click on the three dots on the right and you can just forward that email to whoever you want. One off, pretty basic. Another thing you can do is use a keyboard shortcut. I love these shortcuts. I shared in another video. You do shift um, question mark. It's just the question mark, but to get on most keyboards you have to press shift and it'll pull up the menu of all the keyboard shortcuts, assuming you have those enabled, the keyboard shortcuts on your Gmail. And then intuitively, the one to forward an email is just an F. It's a lowercase F for the word forward. The R is for reply, etc. So back on your inbox, you can just hit the F key on your keyboard and it'll just automatically pop up the response to forward an email. So next time you wanna forward an individual email, just open up an email, hit the F key if you've got the keyboard shortcuts enabled, that's an easy way to do it. Another option is to install a Chrome extension called Cloud HQ. You just go to the Chrome web store, you install uh, Cloud HQ on your browser, and then when you open up your email box, you can select multiple emails and you can forward them all to another address. So that's another option for you. So in this video, I showed you how to forward all of your emails to set to use your settings on Gmail. Also how to create a filter to forward just certain emails that you want to send from a certain domain, keywords, etc. And then as a bonus tip, how to use the keyboard shortcuts. You do the question mark to pull up the shortcuts if you forget. But for an email forwarding, you just press the letter F on the keyboard. Easy as that. So just press F. Once you have an email open, you can forward it. Simple. Hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Give us a like if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again soon.